it's time to use this page title on a two-page spread. I have eight photos that I hope to use along with an event brochure. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper, where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting pages done. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon now. Each year after Mother's Day weekend, there is the annual harp gathering in Archbold, Ohio. Audrey and I drove over this year. It was about a five hour drive with a stop or two. And this is an event that my sister and brother-in-law host each year. It is a wonderful chance to hear beautiful music. In fact, the music you hear on my videos is performed by Denise and Mike. More information about them is in the description of every video. So here are the background pages that I'll be using. I think they're pretty. And for the page title, I have Harp Gathering. And then for the other border, I'm using this collage strip that my friend Renee made. I love it. She and I recently did a collage strip swap in the mail. And what you do is you just use your paper scraps and other items on hand to build a very interesting border. And I think this one is just beautiful. I also have some pieces of sheet music to embellish. Some of these came from my stash and some of them Renee sent me. I have a journal spot that I will put the dates of the event. I made these journal spots a few weeks ago as part of Saturday Morning Makes. So you'll be seeing me use these on my projects here and there. I want to include the event brochure on this page. So I have a plastic pouch that I can put it in. In fact, these are Creative Memories peekaboo pockets. I have a variety pack here and I will slip the brochure or program into this and it's a little bit big so I will trim the top and this will work out just fine. Off camera I tried trimming the peekaboo pocket with my scissors and I didn't get it quite straight so I'm turning to my trimmer to get that straight and I think that'll work just fine. Eight photos and the brochure are a lot to fit on a two-page spread, so I will go through and crop my photos, make them a little bit smaller so that everything can fit. I probably will have to put one of the photos behind the brochure, and that is okay because when you remove the brochure, it won't just look like empty space behind there. There'll be a pretty picture tucked behind the brochure. Now it's time to see how things are going to look and how everything will fit. I need to figure out how to get all eight photos and the brochure and the two borders and the little journal spot all on this layout. I think I can do it. I have to audition things a bit to figure out how they're all gonna fit. I think I like the brochure in the lower right corner because people can access it there in the corner. Some of the photos may need to be trimmed a bit more. So let's see how we do here.
So now I want to disperse some of these music paper scraps around to bring the theming of the harp gathering and the beautiful music across the layout. So these will be my embellishments. You can see how behind that brochure is the photo and I will put some of those music papers back there as well. I'm going to adhere everything off camera, but I will come back and show you the completed layout at the end here. Harp Gathering is a four-day event. It starts Thursday evening and goes through Sunday. So I have more photos of this event, and I'll be doing one more two-page layout. Renee sent me these beautiful music theme collage strips in our swap. So in a video soon, I'll be using these collage strips on that layout, and I can't wait to work with these beautiful strips that Renee created for me. So off camera, I went and did the adhering, and you can see how that brochure just comes right out of that peekaboo pocket and can be looked at, and everything fit on this page just fine. We had to do some cropping, but I'm pleased with the result. Keep on scrapping, everybody.